Mr. Ambassador, we know all your Greek descent and we know uh, how much successful you're also in business. So I need to ask you about these uh, Greek uh, bonds that the Greek government is about to issue. And I think the first country is the U.S. that they're going to try to sell these bonds to um, Greek Americans. Do you think it's a good investment opportunity? Well, I think it's a high risk opportunity. Uh, and unfortunately, I think structurally Greece has to change the way. And we, we, we're there almost every year. And it's terribly sad uh, for all of us, and especially for the Greek people that live there. Uh, the, the government, you know, as you know, it, it became very socialistic in many ways. And there's just not a control. Uh, I mean, the, the, the country needs to be run by grown-ups that are fiscally responsible. And, and it's a problem. I think they, they have to make a, a, a tough decisions that are not going to be easy, but they need to get over this hump and, and really put their government back together in a proper way. America's not much different. I must say, we have our own problems here, but, you know, the strong, uh, we need strong leadership. We need it in Greece, we need it in America. We have to make tough decisions, they're not going to be easy. You can't worry about being popular, you have to do what's best for your country. And, and I encourage the Greek government and all those that are involved to do everything they can to get Greece turned around. Take the tough medicine, let's get it over with, and let's get on with life and provide opportunity for the Greek people. And, and the future has got lots of potential, but they need to straighten it out. Do you think that a solution for Greece would be to return back to our old uh, drachma? No, I don't. I think they're, they're living in an international world. Uh, they're part of the EU. Their best opportunity is to be part of the EU. For them to go it alone will be very difficult. And, you know, it's going to have to take a bit of strong medicine, but they need to get it done and get it over with and, and get their, they need to be less socialistic. I mean, you can't have the government, we have the same problem in America today. So uh, hopefully there'll be a good role model for America because we need to make some changes in the way our own country is being run right now. You know, the, the thing about democracy is the time that you can really fix it is in crisis. Mm -hmm. and you better do everything you can and this is their opportunity to do that but it's going to take strong leaders mm -hmm. and and not being worried about being reelected but worry about what's best for the country in the long run it's about libya and i want your view uh, there you have served this country in many ways but you have also served as an ambassador um, what is your view on the situation there and the u.s involvement or, or the not involved the non-involvement <laughs> it's it's a difficult question and i think that that uh, it's too early to call. Uh, I would not want to make that decision personally if I were in the position to do that. I think it's very difficult. Uh, we have to find a way out of Libya. We have, to, we have to stabilize that part of the world any way we can to help them. Uh, but the Libyan people have to solve their own problem. And, and we need to be constructive and helpful. Uh, but the people themselves in Libya have to solve it. Now, we know you're very involved with the Republican Party. What is your preferred, if there is one, candidate that you would want to see for the next election? A good one. <laughs> I want to see a good candidate, and it's too is, early. Is there a good person? Is there a good uh, face that you have seen that may... You know, it's very early. I think there are going to be a lot of good candidates out there, and I wouldn't want to pick one at this point. I think it's very important to see what the field is going to be and let's back the best person we can and, and uh, we need our own country here in the United States to get turned around for the right values, to get our values put back in, in the proper position in people's view and, and uh, get on with it and we can do that. How about Donald Trump? Well, as you know, he's from New York and he's a character of sorts. Uh, do I think that, that he should be president? No. Uh, not necessarily. <laughs> My family, uh, on, on both sides actually, came from Smyrna. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were forced out of Smyrna, as you know, and my grandfather came to the United States, one of my grandfathers, in 1898 and jumped ship in New York Harbor. And the rest is history. The family all got over here eventually, and on both sides, my mother's side and my father's side. So, you know, it was tough sledding for them, but they were able to raise their family here, and only in America. I mean, that's what's great about our country.